Some of you have read the autobiography and you know there, there was a fulcrum passage when in that completely dissoluted state there was the, the all presence of everything that had happened, all that is happening. And within that, the choiceless choice, I could hear every one of your hopes, fears, and that is why I'm here. It is true that if you are in company with one who is that, has traversed that, knows it, is within it, that is far beyond any gift you can ever imagine in this world. Truth, freedom, held in a space, the transmission, the invitation, all of this, direct. Throughout the history of humanity, we've always had such beings that have traversed this passage who remain present in form to be like a beacon, a light, a way shower, to help resolve the misguided illusions that are wrapped up around a lot of the spiritual teachings. There's great bodies of spiritual knowledge, but a lot of it is not being held or delivered by one who is within that. That makes a profound distinction. It means that I can reflect back for you what is really going on in certain moments. What is that phenomenon? Why? And then the rest is up to you. The invitation's here. The question is, are you willing to fall over the edge of the well and keep your eyes open? That's what a master does. It's like you're sitting on the edge of the well. You're saying, I know I can feel that pull. I know that I have to fall into that well. And the master goes, now keep your eyes open. Vulnerability. Absolute vulnerability. You don't pass that passage without it. And that's a really big one for many of you. Many of you. Including, I'm going to really point at you. Yeah, that's a tough one. Yes, I'm <laughs> really pointing at you here. I'm feeling it. Why is because you know this form that is here now is the continuum of forms, lifetimes that have been before. You know that this form has accumulated, acquired a depth of experience. And in that is identification. There is a great fear that one has to hold on to that sense of form and identification and not lose that in order to feel safe, secure, significant, recognised, etc. But at some point, all of that has to go. Yeah, I felt that as, you know, how, how would I explain it to my family? Like, <laughs> what, what would they... <laughs> <laughs> how, would I, how would I have a relationship with someone if there was nobody left to have a relationship with? I'm having a relationship with you all. <laughs> that's it. You know, that, that's why I say to you, I speak of this experience purely as a demonstration, an example for you, that you can begin to imagine that you are your very own wonderful version of that, that you don't depart from 
the truth of relating, in fact, that is liberated completely. Totally liberated. You don't lose your true essence. Your true essence is liberated. Vulnerability, how many of you have heard me say this before? Vulnerability is the hinge on the gate to true power. How does that gate work? <laughs> Stick around and I'll show you a bit more. Great. 